They really weren't sure at the time what it was called, but I had all the signs and symptoms of what asthma is. I was but really born with it. Um, I've had it all my life in different stages of severity. Um, my mother had it, my grandmother had it, and so I kind of ended up with it. When I got into probably my early 20s, um, I kind of got to the point where I was more active um, and it, I'm not gonna say I outgrew it. I think it plateaued for a while and I could do more things. I could play softball, I could swim, I could um, do diving, track, stuff like that. Uh, but as I got older, I was under the false assumption I had it under control. But actually it had me under control because the symptoms were coming on and I was adjusting to the symptoms not getting it taken care of. I could not go to any of my grandkids' ball games, soccer games, uh, band practices, any of those kind of things, because I couldn't be outside. Um, they'd want me to go shopping with them, like for Christmas and stuff, and and then for the birthdays and things, and I, could, I just didn't have the ability to do it, because you were fighting so much to breathe, you were tired all the time. And just getting up and walking in the mall with the grandkids, I, I just could not do it. In 2010, I was exposed to some Freon here at work, which put me into the hospital for a week. And I was at, at that point, I was at the end of all of my, the, all of the medication that I could be on for asthma. I was at the highest doses. And Dr. Kahn, who was my pulmonologist, he just told me, he says, Mary, I have, you have nothing else that I can give you. You are maxed out on everything. He suggested that I do the bronchial thermoplasty and we talked about it and I just knew that was the only thing I had left to go so that I could spend time with my grandchildren and watch them grow and graduate from high school and college and, and grow up. The bronchial thermoplasty is three procedures and they are three weeks apart. And then he would put a tube down my throat and at the end of that tube was a little probe that he could push forward and what it would do was burn off the lining of my lungs that were very thick. And with asthmatics, the linings are thick. And the reason for doing that is so that when you would have an asthma attack again, hopefully never, but if you do have one, you have more room in your muscles so they don't tighten up so, so you just completely no air. It just leaves it open some so you can br still breathe and it won't be so bad. After the first procedure that I had done, um, I coughed so much that my back, my ribs, um, my head hurt because you cough so much, and you know you're invading the lung, invading the lungs. So you have you got to figure out you're going to have some problems with it. And I was told that I would probably have a really bad asthma attack on the first one, which I did. Uh, now when the second one came along, it was a lot better. Um, I did cough some but nothing like I did on the first one. I did not have the wheeze, I did not have the shortness of breath, but I did have coughing when I did a lot of exertion, but that slowly went away. When the third one came around, um, like I said, I had just a little bit of a sore throat that one day just for a couple hours and it went away, but I did not have any of the coughing with the third one. It was much, much better. Now that I'm post, the procedures, I have more energy. I'm able to go out with my friends. I actually took my grand, eldest granddaughter, who's 16, out to get her um, homecoming dress. I actually walked through the mall with her. I only sat down once because she's more energetic than I am. But I could actually do it. I could actually go in there and watch her try on her dresses. And now we have this memory that she'll have. To sit there and realize that you are fooling yourself and thinking you have it under control you don't, it has you under control because you have learned to deal, deal with their symptoms as it come on slowly, you've adjusted your life. But you really need to get your life back. I feel so much better. I have more energy. Um, I'm getting off my meds, which is saving me money. And then which, you know, you, you have thing, more time to do things with your family, with your kids, with your friends. It is, difference in night and day is just amazing. I feel amazing to what I felt now and what I felt on July 1st when it first started. I'm just amazed at how much better I feel. It is, it's, it's something to do. And if you're at the top of your medicine list, yeah, do it.
like I said, the first six weeks, you're going to say, hmm, what'd she talk me into? But yeah, in the long run, you'll be amazed. <laughs>